guys, and welcome back for some more. Let's play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we spent some sort of long, undetermined amount of time getting tattoos, and in this part, we're going to go talk to the water dragon about them. So we can go learn the first part of the Song of the Hero. Thank God. Whew. Those tattoos took forever. I swear. 33 minute recording, just getting the tattoos. Well, I guess I was using the Grucinator for about two minutes and talking to the water dragon, but you get the point. Oh, apparently my battery's dying. Might want to fix that before Fee corrects me every time I go to a new screen. Because she tends to do that. She's pretty annoying. In case you haven't figured that out by playing this game or watching this LP. I'm gonna get some air here. If it would come to me. There we go. But thank god the water dragon's right there. She should be. Yeah, there she is. So we should just be able to have a cakewalk and get the Song of the Hero. I hope. I desperately hope. Hello, Water Dragon. Ah, you've brought back all my colorful little tad tones. You are indeed worthy of being called a hero. This much is clear. I'm good for my words, so I will teach you my part of the song you seek. have a lovely singing voice. You learned the first part of the Song of the Hero. Congratulations on that. Oh. Originally, I planned to keep these woods underwater so that those awful monsters could not return. But your task is far from over, and you're not exactly at home in the water. I suppose I'll return the woods to their natural state. Oh. And this excitement has rather been draining. I believe I'll retire to my hall. You'd best be on your way as well. That was quick. Where exactly is all this water going and exactly where it came from? I don't know. But who cares? Like, this has had to have drained Lake Floria a lot to get all this water in here. And or she just brought down tons of rain. Oh well, I think we're good to go. As long as we're not supposed to head to the top of the tree. Yes, as I suspected, the water level in Farron Woods has dropped. Like she just said, and as you just observed, the forest has returned to its former, less aquatic state. Master, the melody you just acquired is one part of the Song of the Hero, exactly what the text before just told you. I recommend you seek out the other two dragons in the respective areas to learn the other two parts of the song, in case you completely forgot what you were fighting for. Like Zero from Mega Man X4. Whatever, who cares? That was a stupid joke. I'm sorry. Let's return to the sky and head to the next area. So we can learn the next part of the song, The Hero. Oh, and by the way, one more thing. One more thing. Any second now. Crimson Fury away! I gotta remember that time. Alright, let's head to Lanairu Desert first. Or next, really. I was gonna head to Elden Volcano next, but apparently you're not supposed to do that. I have learned. Because I knew if you did it in some order, you break the game, and I did not do that the first time I played this game. So thank god somebody informed me. Otherwise. Otherwise I'd probably be breaking the game. And if it does break the game, I guess you can just not save. If this is the wrong order, but I could have sworn you're supposed to go to Elden first. I'm not Elden. I'm not Elden at all. The Nairu. And I think the best place to descend is right here at the Ancient Harbor. Never mind, not the Ancient Harbor. That doesn't seem like a good idea at all. Right over... Hmm. I guess the Nairu mine entry is fine. I guess I didn't get the save statue that I remember getting. Oh well. It's fine by me. I know there's a shortcut you can just use the claw shots to do some good stuff with. Alrighty then. And as we can see, that one Goron's right up there. Which probably means that something's happening over here. Oh. Hello. Hello, Beaver. How is your search for the Sacred Flame going? Did you find it? I have been dying to hear whether you found it. Well, did you? 
So after that wild, long adventure, you found it. Beaver, you are truly amazing. You know, I think it is time I tell you I found out about the legend of three dragons. I am certain there is a hidden area just beyond here in the desert. You see, I found a narrow passageway that was too tight for me to fit through, and my gut tells me that one of the three dragons of legend, the Thunder Dragon, lives there. These robots are connected to him somehow. I'm sure of it, bud. The Thunder Dragon, robots and time shift stones. What an adventure! Hmm, I think there's something else we can do if we talk to him. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's great. Uh-huh. You need to lose some weight. Alright, whatever. Guess what, there's something else. Fee is going to prompt me about my batteries for the rest of the episode. That sucks, oh well. With the claw shots, we can get over to this area really easily, so... Might as well just claw shot our way over here. Seems like a good idea. Maybe there's not a save statue over here and I'm just stupid. Because I could have swore there's some sort of bird statue over here that will allow us just to fly straight in. But I guess not. Oh well. He actually blocked the passageway before if you wanted to get to the Thunder Dragon, so... That's why he was standing in the place he was. It's kind of like... What's her name? Navaru from Ocarina of Time. How she stands in front of that one passage until you talk to her. But this one's a bit different because it's just until uh, you finish all the missions that are before the Thunder Dragon. So pretty much just Water Dragon. Oh wait, I need to use bombs to get in there. Let's throw that in there, and that should be the only bomb we need to use. I'll just get this other one. Why not? Might as well grab it so that I have some extra bombs on me. Because I want to have full bombs just in case I ever need them. And this takes us to a completely new area. But first things first, I'm going to check what's underneath here. Nothing. It's under the second one. Well, the Nairu ants that I don't think I've ever picked up before, so let's pick one of these guys up. And if I have picked them up, oh well, might as well get one. Okay, I've picked up eight of them. Well then, I guess I'm getting confused with something else. I've never picked up a Gerudo ja Dragonfly, I don't think. Which is unfortunate, because I want to get all the bugs. Oh well. Let's see. I play the harp here, I'm guessing, and a Sheikah Stone will come out. And it'll probably give me a treasure that I can use. If it's an Amber Relic, I'll just grab it. If it's Monster Claw, I'll just take out the beetle. Why not? So I don't have to go through the cutscene. There we go. This is kind of annoying. Let's see, what is under here? Rupees? Two rupees? My god, it's amazing. Oh well, let's enter the new area. This is Lanairu Gorge. Legend tells of a dragon loyal to the goddess living in this area. Signs indicate that an ancient civilization established a quarry here to mine the deposit of high quality time shift stones. Consequently, the terrain is intricately subdivided with the remains of long abandoned mining equipment, such as mine carts and their tracks. So we've discovered the final area in the game, which is Lanairu Gorge, home to the Thunder Dragon. I don't remember it being too hard, so hopefully it isn't too hard. But I think we should check- oh, wait, we really need to talk to that, that's a good thing. Um, hmm. That looks blow up a bowl, but I don't think I have any bombs that I want to waste on that. And if we come over here, we can see that there's a really large skeleton. Hmm. What if I talk to the skeleton? Dot, dot, dot. Well, that's pretty interesting. It's over here. Chains. What was this skeleton into? My god. Oh well. Let's go ahead and... Maybe we can't go over here. Where do I go then? Hmm. Maybe I have to use bombs wisely to get over here. So let's just drop this. Wait for it to come close to exploding. And throw it right about now. Oh yeah, good timing. 
I'm assuming you can just lay it on the ground and take out the beetle really quick, but that seems easier to me, just to pick it up and throw it at it. Uh, small key. I don't know what this is for, but I'm going to throw it. What a sparkling down there. I'm going to check that out with the beetle really quick. Because that looks amazing, whatever the hell's down there. I'm enticed by the sparkling. What is that? Oh, it's a small key, okay. Good thing I came down here. Let's just return then. Luckily I saw that. I guess that's what the rock is for. You get so tempted to throw it off the side that you see sparkly things off of it. Thank God Fee did not spoil that puzzle. I am so happy that Fee did not spo <laughs> spoil the puzzle. Thank God, I actually figured out something on my own. Let's see, what does this say? Answer to the area ahead is allowed only by permission of Thunder Dragon. Um, I don't see him anywhere around here. Hmm, I don't remember this area at all, but apparently you gotta use claw shots on these pee hats. I'm assuming there's a minecart section up ahead. I'm pretty sure there's a minecart section around here that you have to do in order to get a piece of heart, if I'm not mistaken. And of course I want all the pieces of heart, so... Ooh, that is a sand cicada, and I don't think we've gotten one of them yet, so... Oh, yeah! I think that's our first sand cicada. Thank God I actually got one. Is it? Indeed it is, so now we are almost done with getting all of the things in the game, all the bugs. We could have got these earlier. They're over by the stone gorge, or whatever it's called, the stone cachet. But I never actually got one, because I just didn't bother with it. I thought we already had one. And I was like, hey, I don't really need one of these. Who cares about the bugs? But I want to show everything off, so. Let's see. He's just digging over there. Might as well talk to him. There are lots of big time shift stones here. Zart, did you get permission from Master Thunder Dragon to come here like we did? We were just about to transport this time shift stone to Master Thunder Dragon. We. There are many monsters. I'm gonna pretend he didn't say that second sentence because he kind of died afterwards. Before it. So this seems to be a minecart puzzle. I don't remember this too well. But it's certainly better than what I thought it was, which is riding in the minecarts again. I'm fine with all this combat while moving along. We had something like this in the uh, Lanairu Lanining facility. Oh my god! Well, that's. that's just. that's just horrible. Whatever. No, I don't even care about you. I'm going. You guys die. Have fun with that. There we go. He's dead. I'm assuming there's something nice I could have gotten up there. Or not. I'm just gonna avoid all the enemies. I don't really care. Pass this run. And let's just hit the switch really quick. And that'll allow us to go through the door. I'm gonna ignore most of these guys, because I don't really care. I'm not a violent person. Oh boy. Looks like we're gonna have to fight these Bokoblins. But I'm gonna catch them with the element of surprise. Not them not let them even take out their electric thingies. Although there's another guy up here, and I might not be able to reach him in time. Oh wait, yeah I can. You're dead! Have fun with that. I don't know how that feels, but... Whoa, what's up here? Okay, so it stops. Apparently I can use something up here for this. Like right there. Alright, switch. Easy puzzle. Now what is in here? Alright. Looks like I have to do jumping puzzles. Oh, I think I remember this, kind of. That looks like it has something great over there. Maybe I should have gone that way. Oh god, I totally should have gone that way! Oh, no. Well, that's unfortunate. That's complete stupidity. I'm like, oh, you're probably supposed to go the straight way and not just claw shot your way over there. Okay, so I guess this is speedrun section. That's pretty cool. But the claw shot makes it pretty easy, so whatever. If this would move along, there we go. Wait, which way do I go? I'm assuming this way. This seems like the better way. Let's just ignore you, because I don't care. Or you can just die. I don't really care. Have fun with that. Now what? Oh no! Claw shot before the pass catches up with this. Let's see. Or the present, I should say. It seems more like the 
Well, the past should be the present, the present should be the past in this area. I don't know how many times I've said that, but... I swear to God, it seems like that. All right. Let's try not to go too fast here. Is there anything on the other wall? No. Okay. Anything below us that's gravel? Oh, okay. We have a quick puzzle here with timing jumping. Okay, not hard. Not hard at all, but I would really like a stamina fruit. Okay, there we go. There's one. It's great. It's actually kind of cool. I do like this section. I don't remember it too well, but it's pretty cool. And I guess I'm going too fast for this, because I'm way ahead of it. Like right here, I'm going to be good. All right. I'm the world's greatest acrobat, apparently. Let's see, there's got to be something around here somewhere. Like right over here. If this would move a little bit faster, that'd be great. Uh, I got a claw shot up here. I got a claw shot up there. How do you... There's a target over... Th How am I supposed to... Okay, never mind. There's a target over there and one over here. It certainly works for me. And with that, we can actually move this forward, and we'll probably just have one more area. Oh my god, how long have these parts been going, the past two parts? The last episode was really long, and this one's going to be extremely long. I didn't expect this one to go on forever. So this mission seems like it's not as long as the tad comes, at least. I guess it was that. It's pretty nice. Uh, there are a lot of keys over there. Oh, they disappear in the past. That's pretty cool. But why don't I disappear in the past? But they do. Okay. I don't even care about logic. Maybe Bieber is a thousand-year-old demon that has been living forever. Who knows? Maybe that's the plot twist at the end of the game. I don't remember that being a plot twist, but maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed an extremely dark undertone about that. These gels are still possibly the easiest enemy in the game when they're not electrified. Uh, alright. Just gotta randomly use the whip around here. Pull that out. Good to go. What is that up there? Are those spiky spinner thingies? Oh, those are spinners, aren't they? We are probably screwed. Oh, we're not. That's not too bad. It's just slight timing. Except for the fact that I ran straight into that one. Is that another one? Or is that just a bug point? Okay, it's just a bug point. Who is now screwed? And dead. I gotta wait. And swing across. Everything's good. You get out of here. And please give me that heart, actually. I see it floating. Come down faster! Oh no! Get me back on dry land. Or not. <clears throat> well, I did not see that at all. Let's kill this guy. Simply take out our whip and swing cross. Ooh, and an ancient flower. I'm gonna pick that up with my beetle. Because why not? Ow. That was not pleasant. Let's take this. Oh no! Well, that was pretty much just be me, me being stupid. And that's why I died. Uh, I have to restart all the way over here. You get out of here. I don't want you here. Another ancient flower. You know, let's just pick, it, pick it up and take the cutscene. Why not? It's worth it this time, I suppose. I guess it's an area where you can grind for ancient flowers if you really want it, and you're willing to sacrifice some health from falling. I suppose it is worth it. Except you get out of here, and you too. I'm just trying to get across. Alright, so I gotta do some sort of timing, and that's not very hard. Oh, no. That's a lot of spinners. I think I should be good. In fact, I already made it. Now, if you could just hurry up, Mr. Minecart. Oh, what is over there? Uh, apparently, if I ran fast enough, I could have gone over there. Or I can just run up here. That works, too. Why am I not running up correctly? Run up the ledge? Run... Run up the ledge. Run... Okay. Don't run up the ledge. I don't even care about the ledge. I'm assuming there's something amazing over there that I just missed out on. Please say it's not a hard piece. Oh, okay. I can just run over there this way. The really long way. Oh, I gotta stay on the wall. Alright. Get the stamina fruits. Okay. 
perfectly easy. And back to full health after god knows how many episodes, probably two. This episode is going a lot longer than it should have, and I'm gonna have really two long episodes in a row. Which is unfortunate, I would have liked to split these up into two parts each. Because I'm going back to school tomorrow, so... I'm not gonna be able to record as much. Not to mention, work started yesterday. I went back to work yesterday, so that's always fun when I'm not gonna be able to record much. I'm just gonna avoid all these guys, except for this few monsters. Apparently I gotta kill him. In order to move the minecart along. And I would kill that guy for the money, but he seems like he's way out of the way. I'll try to just get rid of this penis for chips and giggles. Why not? Get him out of the way so he won't kill me or do any sort of harm to me. Along with this guy. Really, because he's blocking that. Let's take out the whip and whip that. Or not. I can't run up that high. What exactly am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to stand further back. Okay. Makes sense to me. Now we can progress. Please say this is the last room. Not that I'm not having fun with this, it's just this is going on forever. And it looks like this is actually the last room. Because that should be the area where the Thunder Dragon is supposed to be. Right over there. But there are rocks over here. What are you doing? Get out of here. What is he on? Like a small thing of rock? Okay, yeah, he is. Please say there's gonna be a bomb around here that I can use a deal with. And I don't have to do a really complicated bomb throw. I have to do a really complicated bomb throw. Or maybe I don't. Is that a bomb over there? It is a bomb over there. Oh, that's nice. Let's just run into that pole that I didn't see. I swear it cut me off. And just blow that up, I suppose. And now we should be in the clear to get that over to the Thunder Dragon, so we can actually do the Thunder Dragon mission in the next part. Because there's more to the Thunder Dragon than just this short little minecart section. But that is the end of the minecart section, so that's great. If it would go a little bit faster... I guess I'll just wait for him here. Or not. I'm just gonna go sit down on that stool and wait for it, but... I suppose they have a quick little uh, cutscene there to make it go faster. The Thunder Dragon is back, but unfortunately we are not going to talk to him this part because this episode has been going on for long enough. So thank you guys for watching, I've been Ace Black, and I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next part!